Hello, Brian Myers from Winning Solutions, Inc. and the Microsoft Access Experts. Today we're going to start a multi-part tutorial on how to create a basic database. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to create a basic table. To start with, we're going to need to open Microsoft Access, select from the available templates the blank database template, and we'll need to give our database a name. We'll start by calling this our contact database and then we can click the create button. It'll start out with a blank database with a blank table. I typically like to start in design view rather than the data sheet view which it defaults to. So we'll go ahead and right click and select design view and it's going to ask us to save this table and give it a name. It's pretty good practice to start tables with TBL and we'll call this employee table so TBL employee and we'll go ahead and click OK and now we're in data sheet view here, or uh, design view here and the first thing we have is a uh, field that is automatically created it's an ID field for this table it'll create a auto number that is unique for each record that's entered we're gonna go ahead and update this to say employee ID and we'll go ahead and add a description. It's good practice to make sure you have a uh, description for each of your fields. I'm going to say this is a unique employee ID. And we'll go ahead and add a couple of fields here. We're going to say that the, each employee has a first name. And that's going to be a text value. This will be the first name of employee. We'll go and add a middle name. And we'll say that this is the middle name of the employee. And you'll notice here that I'm not using spaces within my uh, field names. I'm actually using a capital letter for each of the first letters of what I am entering. And that's pretty good practice. Uh, spaces in uh, field names don't necessarily work well in the end. So you may want to implement this practice of using a capital letter if you have multiple words within your field name. So we'll go ahead and add some more items here. We'll say last name. And that's going to be a text field. That's the last name of the employee. We'll go ahead and add a department. We'll say that each uh, person is going to have a department. For right now, we'll leave that as a text value. We'll cover uh, some other information in a future tutorial on changing that to a lookup and changing it to a number. And we'll go ahead and say that this is the department, the employee is part of. Then we also have a position. And we'll leave that as text for right now. And we'll say this is the position of the employee. And we'll give them a start date. And we'll leave that as text for right now. We'll come back to, to that in a future tutorial. And this is the date the employee started. Then we'll go and add a email address. It'll be text. We'll add a phone number. We'll leave that as text as well. And finally, we'll add a date that the record was created. And this one, we'll leave as text for right now as well. And now we'll go ahead and right click back on our tab up here and go back to data sheet view. We are going to get a message that we must save the table. We'll go ahead and click yes. And we're back in data sheet view where we can enter information for each employee in data sheet view. I'm just going to go along here and make sure we can see everything here by double clicking in between the fields. It'll lengthen it to the longest value within that column. 
And there we have a basic table. I'm not going to actually enter any information in this as we'll pick up on this in our next tutorial. Uh, please give us a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date with the tutorials and the database templates that we post. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter or join our circle on Google+. Feel free to contact us for any of your access development needs for any new project, whether it be from scratch or using one of our database templates to start from. Or if you have a current development that you need development help with, uh, go ahead and contact us with that. Or if you need help implementing one of our database templates into your current development project. I'll put links to all the ways you can contact us below and a link to the next tutorial. Thanks and have a great day.